there are a lot of biomarkers in small vessel disease, but um, I think most mostly they uh, focus on the neuroimaging biomarkers. So according to the um, the well-known strife criteria, uh, we have um, some traditional biomarkers for small vessel disease, including cerebral microbleeds, um, the white matter hyperintensity is usually detected on flare imagings. Uh, the uh, enlarged perivascular spaces um, that come along with the small vessel pathology and uh, lacunes uh, that um, we often quite often see um, small vessel disease. Uh, we, there are also some new, newer markers uh, like a cortical microinfarct that um, has um, could be detected on um, high resolution T1 and um, flare images uh, and some um, functional um, imaging markers. For example, the um, the white matter microstructural alterations and diffusion tensor images, the vascular re reactivities, whether it's resting or provoked, um, the BBB leakage. Uh, parameters, etc., and we also uh, have some. Um, yeah, I think the blood or fluid biomarkers are definitely needed, uh, but needs more efforts uh, in future work to explore.